Cold Steel has a lot of great compact everyday carry knives and most of them are neck knives and if you order them from the factory you get the neck knife attachment. Well Cold Steel also has something called a C-clip and it makes it so much easier to carry these blades around especially if you don't like to do the neck knife thing. Stick around and we'll take a look at it. Tell you what, we've got us another chilly day here in Virginia. You know, the forecast is supposed to be sunny, but it's cloudy and cool this morning. When you're shopping for knives nowadays, it's not just a question of do I like the blade? The bigger question is, is how comfortably and reasonably can I carry this thing around? I'm not ashamed to open carry a knife, but I would rather conceal it if I could. We can draw attention to ourselves in a lot of ways. And, you know, one way we can draw attention to ourselves is by open carrying a weapon. Now, if you like to open carry, I have no words of criticism for you at all. You do what makes you happy, what floats your boat, whatever your state allows. I have no, when I see somebody open carrying a weapon, I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm cool with that. I typically don't like to open carry too obvious. I don't mind like a pocket carry of a knife. I don't mind like the handle sticking out of my pocket. I don't mind a little bit of open carry, but I do like some discreet factors as well. I don't want it to just be blatant. My personality already draws enough attention to me as it is. The way I carry myself, my energy level, it just, it just draws attention. And having a weapon on my side that's overly visible just kind of adds to it. And that's the reason why I don't do full-blown open carry of anything. I have actually tried neck knife carrying. I gave it a shot for a season in my life, you know, carrying it outside of the shirt, carrying it under the shirt. It just wasn't for me. So that's why I was really happy to discover the C-clip from Cold Steel. Now in this video, I'm not gonna show you the assembly of putting the C-clip on the sheath. You don't wanna watch that video because it takes some scrutiny. It took me a long time to put these on. That video would be like watching paint dry um, just because I didn't quite have the tools that I needed to make it easy putting it on. But I will tell you about the hardware that you get and I will show you some of the different ways that it can be mounted. What you can do is go out to Amazon and order the C-Clip 2-pack. You'll get two of these. The hardware that you get is the clip like this. You get uh, basically a base screw. You get like the little attachments that go in between. Let me show you this here. You get the attachments that bridge between the sheath and the clip itself. You get a washer that can go underneath the screw and you get your, I call it the screw in screw. Basically four elements or five elements. You get the, you get the clip, you get the base screw, a washer, this little bridge is what I call it, and the top screw. What you're gonna need to put this together is some sort of magnetic screwdriver, like a little magnetic um, flathead or a magnetic Phillips head, but if it's got to be a really small Phillips head. First thing I'm going to show you here is how I mounted this clip for horizontal carry on my mini leather neck here. So you see the base level screw there that you get, and you also see the washer that goes underneath it. Now, if, you, if I turn it this way, you can see the little bridge there that you put in between the two here, and then you have the clip and the top screw that goes in right here. Now that's where it's a doozy. That, that was hard to get in position because you're having to go through this little top rung. If you have a magnetic screwdriver, you can you know just line it right up, put it in place and drill it right on in. Now, as you can see here, I've got my mini leatherneck set up to go horizontal. I'm gonna show you how I've got this mounted on my belt. It basically sits like this and I grab it with my right hand. I reach across and grab it with my right hand and it pulls right out. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the knife mounted horizontally. I'm gonna come closer. Just got it right on that loop and I'm able to easily deploy this from here. But it covers well, I'm able to carry it well and it's there in a very convenient position with the horizontal carry. Now I wanna show you how I mounted the C-clip on my Tanto Spike, which I like to call my mini Coburn. This, this Tanto Spike here just, it's like a little miniature Coburn. I love this knife. It's razor sharp. It's so easy and comfortable to carry around. I did a review just a few days ago on this, but I wanna show you how I mounted the clip to this. So this is what this looks like. Okay, this makes also for a great pocket clip. Now, you can run a belt through this and carry it upright, you know, however position you wanna carry it. 
Um, you could finagle if you wanted to. I don't know. I tried switching it this way and mounting it. I had a difficult time mounting it, turning it uh, clockwise here. Long way for scout carry or, you know, horizontal carry. I found it a little bit difficult. I don't think I could get the, the rungs to line up. So what I did was decided to just mount it like this so that I can carry it in my pocket. And this is what it looks like in my pocket. So here's what this looks like in the pocket. I'm totally good with that. I would even open carry that way because that's very discreet. It's easy to reach in and pop this right out. What I love about this spike is it's so much blade and it's so comfortable to carry the way this slides down into the pocket. You can cover it up if you want to, or you can kind of ride out with it kind of like this. I don't mind this kind of open carry. That's got a, a discreet factor to it. And I think that looks nice. It's easy to assess and I think it looks good. Now this pocket clip does have an element that can grab, but you know, as I learned with the Coban and with this as well, thumb deployment is best. It's just a matter of reaching down and deploying it that way. You can train with that and get really fast with it. There's going to be other ways that you can mount these things, other ways you can tinker around. Uh, not only with these sheaths, but, you know, probably other sheaths with other knives that you have out there. It's a, it's a really nice clip. I like how it doesn't dig into my clothing so much. I've had clips in the past that uh, have actually torn pants. But I know for a fact that your Kyoto Tanto, your mini leather neck, those can be mounted for upright belt carry, horizontal belt carry, or pocket carry. I think that's awesome. And your Tanto spike can be set up for upright belt carry or pocket carry. What matters in the end is being able to travel safely and comfortably with our knives, but also have the ability to get to them quick and efficiently in a crisis. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. I appreciate all of my subscribers and supporters and all the new visitors as well. You know, I haven't been plugging this that much, but I do have a Patreon and you know, my channel is growing. And if you want to support the channel in any way, um, it gives me the opportunity to review gear and stuff that I wouldn't be able to otherwise afford. So I'm just putting that out there. I appreciate your support in any way you give it, even if it's a thumbs up or a comment or just a kind word. But thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.